Here's a cool geometry problem. Here we have square K L M N. Within this square is square P Q R S. And within this square is square T U V W. Point P divides the side K L in the ratio 1 to 2. Likewise, point T divides the side PQ in the ratio 1 to 2. What fraction of KLMN is shaded? This fun problem is from the UKMT Senior Maths Challenge. Its website is linked below. Pause here to solve the problem. We'll take a look at a solution when you're ready. Here's a solution. Point P divides side KL in the ratio 1 to 2. So let's choose KP to be 1 and PL to be 2. This means the sides of square KL, MN are 3. Again, we can label the other sides of the square too. As each side of the largest square is 3, the area of square KL, MN is 3 squared, 9. To find the length of PS, one side of the medium sided square, triangle PSK is highlighted. As this is a right angle triangle and we know the lengths of the other two sides, we can use Pythagoras theorem to work out PS, which is the hypotenuse. PS squared is equal to KS squared plus KP squared. Subbing in the values, PS squared is equal to 2 squared plus 1 squared, which is 5. Therefore, PS is equal to root 5. As PS is one side of the square PQRS, highlighted in blue, we can square the root 5 to give 5 as the area of the medium-sided square, PQRS. Therefore, the area of PQRS as a fraction of the area of KLMN is 5 over 9. Likewise, as the smallest square, TUVW, has the same proportions as PQRS, they have the same ratio of lengths. So the area of TUVW as a fraction of PQRS's area is 5 over 9, 2. Multiplying the two fractions together gives 25 over 81. This is the fraction of KLMN that is shaded. The final answer. Thank you for watching Beat Calculator. Be sure to like, share and subscribe for weekly maths and maths puzzle content. See you next week.